Okay, so. Children are being used to generate the multiverse. And from what uh, Og said in his video, um, there appears to be one baseline reality, or one, uh, one grounded original reality and that's where the children would be located would be in the baseline one and then the multiverse would be spawned out from their minds right and uh linked up through the supercomputer network which would bring one to a simple conclusion that if you live in a realm or a universe that appears to be fucked up then likely you're not in the original and if you're not in the original then you're inside of one of these kids minds right That would be my initial thought. Um, and that also goes along with the talk about um, simulation theory, right? Because if you were if you were speaking in terms of an original the first creation realm as the, the baseline and then any other reality that's branching off from that would be having to be spawned out of that somehow. And if you're in a reality where you're having reality breakdowns like Matt talks about, um, or where you're even having to engage in this idea of uh, being a reality junkie, then that would imply that you're asking questions about your reality and you ask questions about your reality if there's problems with your reality. And if, if children are basically having dreams and dreaming uh, universes and multiverses, then uh, they're not necessarily going to be fully making sense or fully rational or coherent. Strange things could happen. Um, And so to carry the, the thought experiment, and it's a thought experiment for me, this is not something that I'm speaking uh, with direct knowledge or memory from, but to carry it forward, um, if you're in one of these sort of non-original universes, which is all of them except for the original, uh, then it would make sense that whatever uh, deity there is for that universe, it would be the, the child, right? Whichever child is dreaming it. And the, qu 
question I would have, I, probably the first question I would have, uh, would be the children in the bases, where is their consciousness uh, and how is their consciousness? Because if it's some form of mental torture, then I wouldn't be down with that. I know what mental torture is and not, not, not a fan. Um, if it's just like somebody dreaming, then, you know, who knows? Is it good or bad? I don't know. Uh, if, if the, the child that's dreaming this universe or these multiple universes is themselves a character within that dream, then that child, um, would probably be able to repro reprogram it from the inside and also find out that they are um, being used for such and determine at that point whether they wish to go forward with it or not. That would be my first and fundamental question is, do the children know what's happening and uh, are they Are they agreeing to it? And also, is it torturous?